Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Natasha. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. So guys, I am going to be posting snippets of us building our swimming pool. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel for more videos. So initially when we decided that we were gonna build a pool in this area, we went on to get a few quotations from a few companies and guys, the amounts that they quoted us were way too high and didn't really seem realistic. And as you guys know, Joseph and I love a good DIY and because we had people that have been working on our place for quite some time, we decided to engage them and kind of guide them on how to go about building this pool. So firstly, we had the guys excavate the place that we wanted to have the pool. And we had them excavate a big enough hole so that we would have space to put the concrete in the corners or the sides of the pool. And um, we decided that because of the fact that we have kids, initially we had asked them to dig about a meter deep. And then later on, we asked them to kind of slope the pool to avoid it being too deep. Once they were done with that, they put in some quarry, the white stuff that's over there. And because of the fact that when they were excavating the ground, they put all the soil on the exterior of um, the pool, right against the pool. Um, so we asked them to kind of move that soil so that they would have enough space to work. And so once they did that, um, they went on to continue finishing putting um, the steel. And after putting the steel, they added Y12 steel and Conforce wire. So after they set out the steel, they tied each of the steel brackets together to avoid it from moving when they were pouring the slab. So we ended up having these guys take a five day break to make sure that the slab properly dried. Um, usually you need to wait about seven days, but because we are in warmer climate, we eventually decided to wait for only five days. And after the five days, they came back and started building the walls. And each of the blocks in the walls were filled in with concrete. Because Zambia doesn't have those hollow blocks, um we had them fill the blocks with the concrete um it was a mixture of quarry mixed with stones and um cement and for extra strength we had them put on each row some brick force wire um just so that it would not have issues in future um, to stabilize, I guess, the blocks. If there were ever to be a crack, the brick first wire would act as a barrier in holding the walls together. I am not an engineer, so don't take my word for everything that I'm saying, but this is on the basis of our experience. Anyway, guys, after they were done with one side of the wall, um, because of the fact that the pool is sloped, they used our um, these pavers as a shutter um, to make a base for that end so that it would be um, actually on the same level as the rest of the wall fence or the fencing of the pool and uh, once they were done setting out the um, shutter they ended up pouring some concrete on this space and waiting for it to dry before um, putting the blocks on top simultaneously guys we had the plumber and electrician on site so that we would have them kind of coincide the works um, to avoid having to do too many um, like backtracking in terms of 
uh, maybe punching in holes and stuff. Um, and unfortunately, as you guys continue watching, you'll find that we ended up having to do that for the Jets because I assumed that they were going to put a provision for the Jets prior to us pouring the concrete. Um, but unfortunately, there was a miscommunication on the type of pool that we were building. So due to me having a bit of an emergency, I ended up leaving Joseph to monitor the guys to work and I didn't really get any of the other footage because when I'm not filming, Joseph is too busy focusing on the guys working and so I came back to find um, they had built all the block work and they had already started pouring the concrete in between the walls of the pool and the steel So the next day they came back and started out with laying some more of the aggregate onto the ground and tried to level it out so that the second wall that was being built would have a path that was straight and level so that it would come and be at the same level as the pool interior wall. With us building our construction company, we have had a lot of highs and lows and especially with vetting people for different jobs, it does get a little bit hectic because you try to find the best team that's not going to, you know, be a hindrance to the people that you end up doing jobs for and little by little we've managed to curate a team that works pretty well um together and yeah we do have like you know those days where somebody's not as motivated to work but i know um when you do hire different people you gotta kind of you know curate um, the work environment in a way that's going to be conducive for everyone and uh, guys we have also been learning the language alongside you know working with different people most people speak English here and understand English uh, but sometimes you have a situation where um, you might be explaining something in English and they might not understand the word that you're using and so yeah guys I have been pretty busy with uh, learning uh, for the most part and yeah Joseph also has learned a few words here and there he's trying um, but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoy the vlog like comment subscribe to the channel